Hey guys, this is John from A Global, and this video is about the telltale signs and symptoms of how your riding lawnmower has a blown head gasket. If you have a Briggs & Stratton Intec motor, this video should pertain to you. First of all, I'd like to start off that I've owned uh, more than one of these Intec motors and had multiple problems, and obviously with the amount of videos online, this video should help you and guide you in the right direction. If you have to add oil every time you cut your grass, and I'm just talking this has just started to happen. This is not long term like your rings are worn. This may be the first telltale sign that you have a problem that you have a blown head gasket. The second thing I'd like to talk about is your engine just started to blow smoke when running. And I'm not talking about uh, it's, it's slowly creeped up and started blowing smoke slowly at a time. I'm just talking this has just started and every time you run it, it smokes. The third item that I'd like to bring to everybody's attention is your engine has oil all over it, blocking the cooling fins. Now, obviously, there's uh, pressure in the crankcase, and somehow it has worked its way out and uh, deposited the oil all over the engine. This is actually what happened to this DYT4000, and it runs good, it starts good, but there's oil everywhere, and the grass just stuck to it, clogging the fins and everything else. So if you're like me, and I actually use synthetic in virtually everything I uh, use, uh, this model actually consumed oil but never smoked whatsoever. Now, if you ever get to this point where it's hard to start with low compression, you know, there could be more serious things wrong, but initially I'd start off with the head gasket. And lastly, one of the easiest telltale signs that your uh, your Intec motor has blown a head gasket is the spark plug has the symptoms it's coated with oil. It's easy. You just unscrew it and pull it out and take a look at it. So on my model, you can actually see that there's oil all over the motor. But when I went ahead and I started it and I ran it, I can cut the grass. Everything looks good. Everything runs good. Seems like there's no problem with it, but actually there really is because the motor just consumed oil like there was no tomorrow. So in my case, uh, as I'm checking through the symptoms of the mower, the first thing I wanted to check is, is there any oil in the air filter? And actually there wasn't. It was clean as a whistle. So as I worked through, I tried to figure out where is this oil coming from? Obviously, I started to tear down the motor, took the cover off, and wanted to see what was inside. And I actually, you can see on the one side of the motor, oil is just it consumed everything. It, it just sprayed all over everything, even inside the cover. It was all over the inside of the cover, and this caused me to tear down the motor to look and see where is the problem. And actually, if you look right in, I took the head off this and the head gasket was blown, even though this thing ran great. Crankcase that put pressure on the crankcase and actually forced it through the crankcase. And on this model, it was actually from the breather tube that went from the crankcase to the carburetor. It leaked by from the excessive pressure from the blown head gasket. So if you see oil all over your motor, chances are it's a blown head gasket. So in my case, it was actually a head gasket that was blown. But uh, online, everybody's like, oh yeah, half an hour, is, it's easy fix. It's much longer than that. If you run into something like this, you're going to need a couple cans of carburetor cleaner to spray off everything, clean out the fins, and uh, to make sure you get that cooling so it doesn't seize up on you. And in this case, worked well, new head gasket, everything runs great. Well, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please click the like button and also subscribe, it's free.